What's up everybody? Derek here with the Bass Factory and today I'm doing a little bit of urban fishing on the San Antonio River. I'm in the middle of town. This thing goes straight through downtown San Antonio. I mean there's airplanes, sirens, there's a refinery or something right there and there's a dam right here and there are canals that come off of this river all over the place down through here and I've got a little Strike King square bill crankbait that I just got and I'm gonna go try it out and I've got a little bit of time I got off work just a little bit early so I'm gonna go down through here and see if we can't catch some fish and see what lives in here so let's go fishing <sighs> oh let's see you are here we're gonna cross the road and go right up here somewhere in this area this canal is coming in right there let's go see if we can find this canal and that is the river there's a bridge I didn't know this goes under I thought I was gonna have to cross the highway there but it goes under so there's a bridge here and anytime you got shade like this there's got to be some fish in here I'm just gonna give it a quick try. Oh my gosh, look at all those brim right there. I doubt that'll pick up, but man, there's so many of them. God, I have never seen so many like that. Look at all those, I don't think those are sunfish. All right, let's make a cast right here. This might be our last cast, and we're going to take off running again to our location that I found on Google Maps. Oh, that's a big fish, whatever that was. What was that? Maybe a carp? Oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, little guy, little bass. Thanks, bud. Time to run. Let's go. Woo! This really turned into an adventure. I have probably ran at least two miles upstream. And if you can see peeking over the top of those trees over there, that's the America's Tower. That's the tallest point in San Antonio, so that's how close I am to downtown. I just ran from way over there all the way over to here to see this train track with some water under it. Let's go check it out. There are so many minnows in here. This is a good little section of water right here. Well, at least I didn't get skunked down here. At least I did catch something. <laughs> yeah. That was floating down here, so. <laughs> That's hilarious. There are so many minnows in here. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but there are minnows, so many down there. But I don't see any other fish. Just minnows, no perch, cichlids, bass. I don't see nothing, just minnows everywhere. Oh, wee. Look at all this. This looks sweet. Let's just see if anything's down here though. There's a lot of rocks, so maybe we can crash this little crankbait around in those rocks, see if something will pop it. Come on now. Just need a bite. I know there's fish out in here. There's one right there. Oh, man, that was a good one, too. Dang it. That was a good fish. Whatever that was. All right, I just switched out to this eighth ounce rooster tail. It's got some fluorescent on it, decent size hook, and a, a gold blade. So I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try to switch it up a little bit, see if we can catch some fish. That crankbait was just not getting it done. 
these bird blue skies like this. I don't know. There's a little school of bass right there. It's the first bass I've really seen around here. Oh, I bet you I know what those are. Those are tilapia. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm catching fish, but I didn't know I was catching fish for the aquarium. <laughs> oh, a little guy hit that, but man, that's a, for such a small bass, that's real pretty bass. All right, let's let him go. Thanks, bud. I needed some action. I parked right here and I ran all this all the way up to way up there. So that's about a little over a mile. So really I've only run about, uh, by the time I get back to the truck, maybe around two and a half miles. Man, it sure seems like a lot more than that. Back down here to the bridge. Let's see if we can't catch something down in here. Whoa, look at all those fish right in front of me. Those are tilapia, aren't they? I think those are little tilapia. Huh? All I've seen is perch on the banks. I think there was a, just a big group of tilapia or something right here. I thought they were uh, sunfish, but those are tilapia, I guess. Yeah. There's a lot of them in here. Man, those things are everywhere. You can't get rid of them, then they multiply like the size. Really? Well, this was quite the adventure. Who knew I could go fishing and get a workout in? I had a ton of fun going up and down the river here and fishing these little canals and these little areas that were holding a lot of fish. I finally found out what those fish are and they're not sunfish. I've seen them everywhere and I've never seen so many of them in all my life and they were tilapia, which those things can get pretty big, but supposedly they're taking over this San Antonio River where I was fishing at. But this little spot behind me, I've never seen so many bait fish in one little area. I mean, it's ridiculous, but I had a lot of fun. I didn't catch a lot of fish, but I did catch a couple bass. I wish I would have caught some sunfish, but you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Blurred blue skies. We just had a cold front, well, what you call a Texas cold front come through, which is 80s. <laughs> so it did drop the, bar the barometric pressure a little bit. So, and now that that thing's pushed through, we didn't catch any more fish. But let me know if you guys ever fish anything like this or this urban setting like I did today. Let me know in the comments section and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.